Welcome in, everybody. <laughs> Catch that Psyduck. Yay. All right, let's see what we got here. There we go. I just want to make sure that's everybody. All right. Welcome in. Welcome in. Welcome in, KLC. <laughs> and welcome in, Ruler. And Wally. Cabin chance, 40%. <laughs> Henry Spy, welcome, welcome. Dancing Share. And Fry. And Trinket. Choo, choo, choo. Let's see here. Da, 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 da. Erica, welcome on in. <laughs> I know that, 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 that Ivan Drago, it's so good. It's so good. <laughs> And happy 50th anniversary to Mad Dog and Zancing Share. <laughs> yeah. Goodness gracious. Yeah. <laughs> Aw. Inside ugly. I think that's. Side up left. Oh well. Oh well. It's because I want us. Double tick. Double tick. Alrighty, just gonna check and make sure this is not going anywhere. It's pretty good. So, uh, today you just got a 16 by 20 canvas. Started off white, <laughs> just covered with white gesso. So I just put in this little black gesso underpainting. So all I did was just took a paper towel, just kind of wadded it up like that and dipped it into the black gesso. It kind of, just kind of like dabbed. Do, 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 And then just covered the bottom there. And then for this part, I don't see it. I, I cleaned it off, but it's like a little, little disposable foam thingy. So I just kind of streaked it up like that. <laughs> All right. So since we have both the black gesso and the white gesso, so we're going to use uh, liquid clear and liquid white. So let's grab liquid clear here. So this is this is a brand new container of uh, liquid clear. So it might be a little little runny than the other stuff. Well, you know, it's gonna be runnier than the other stuff. So ruler, I did take your suggestion. Oh, thanks for the follow. Um, I did take your suggestion of uh, the the I was at the very end of my last tin, and it was getting it was real thick and goopy because. Um, the top wasn't fitting on correctly anymore just because of the buildup of the liquid clear and everything. So it dried out a bit. So um, I did add some paint thinner and it did help a lot. And I did like a test, like a itty bitty painting yesterday, but it was a little too runny. So I'm just gonna like leave the top off for like a day or two and then we'll see, we'll see what happens. This is my experimental tin over there. So. But this is, this is the brand new one. So I'm just gonna shake this up real good. Catch a tag, Lady G. What? It's if I were to go into a store and ask for a disposable foam thingy. Hold on, let me show you. Let me show you. This thingy. That thing. Yeah. Foam thing. I don't know. I don't know what things are called. I, <laughs> I see it, I recognize it, I buy it. Uh, Dollar store. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Yeah, they're super, super cheap. I use them a couple times, and um, I also use them to, because I paint like the edges of the paintings black when I'm finished with them. So that's why I, I use this and dip it into the black gesso and just like phew, just paint the sides. So that's that's what I use them for, for the most part. Tango, welcome on in. Oh, is it not real foam? I have other, I have foam rollers too. Like, <laughs> just showing, showing you my arsenal today. You can, you can see all the, um, all the gesso splatter is just like caked on there. So I have um, a couple of these rolls, but yeah, it takes forever to clean all the gesso out of these. But I have one for, basically one for black and then the other, a couple other ones for, for white gesso. I just I'm gonna switch them out. <laughs> Anywho, tools of the trade. <laughs> C. 
do, I'm gonna shake this up again. This is, I keep, I keep looking at the tins because the tins are so similar. So like this one's liquid first coat clear. This one's liquid first coat white. So, yeah, make sure I don't mix them up. Actually, I need both of them today, so it's all right. Okay. So I'm also going to, I'm just gonna take one of my brushes here. I'm just gonna give it a good swirl. It's like runny honey. <laughs> All right, I'll dip the extra onto my palette here. I can always use it. I'm just gonna clean that off. <laughs> I use the foam dis disintegrates and tiny bits of foam get into the finish. I haven't had that issue. Like, but I, I do yeah. notice. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> well, I thank you for redeeming Sploosh. Sploosh! normally paint with the other end of the brush. <laughs> what if, is that what I've been doing wrong? I mean, it's not wrong if it works, but I mean, you could, to get like a really thin line, I suppose you could like, oh dear. <laughs> but if it doesn't work, then maybe try something else. Thank, thank you, Wally, for that, that generous 10 out of 10 out of 10 out of 10. <laughs> oh dear. All right, so I'm just gonna use a two inch brush here. Ugh. I got a little bit of that liquid clear on here, so I'm just gonna scoop that up. I'm gonna dip a little bit more here. There we go, and yeah. I'll just do a little at a time. Like I said, this is a brand new tin, so it's gonna be more, way more liquidy than what I've been using. <laughs> my cozy cat. I have a cozy cat somewhere. Couldn't find him. I, I, I typed cozy, I typed cat, I typed comfy. I couldn't find it. Couldn't find it. Pew, 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 pew. At least it goes on a lot easier than the is it? It's the one uh, Wellsish has and Arcus has. I can't find them. I know I put them in here. I'm determined. Oh, there. There he is. There he is. Oh, it's under Meow. Okay, that's why. That's why I couldn't find it. That's why. Oh, that's right. Wells just has the one where he has the little, like, yeah, the little cozy hood or something. Pew, pew, pew. Oh, sh I, <laughs> I have some ducks and I don't have all the ducks. I need all the ducks. This, this is fresh and new, so it has like, I always describe it. it, it to me, it smells like rotting bananas, which is kind of good. <laughs> it's kind of a good smell. So Marlick, originally it was white canvas and then and then I uh, used black gesso to paint this like underpainting. So I just kind of like, like dab, 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 and then use the foam to pew, pew, pew. Very technical term. You sure it's not just running with it? I mean, 
It could be. Now cover your canvas in a thin layer of rotting bananas. I'm really scrub it in there. <laughs> Damn it. Damn it. Good for the liquid clear there. And I don't know why I was reading the I was reading the ingredients and the instructions on the side, and it actually says to do that thing that I always say to to like touch it in multiple places and <laughs> see if it's like nice and tacky and <laughs> like that's interesting. Just rotting bananas. Cheeseburger cats, welcome in and thank you for the contribution to the duck stream. So the duck stream is just, uh, it's probably gonna be like, I don't, know, well, I don't know how long it's gonna be, but it's just gonna be a stream doing of me doing um, the rubber, the rubber, the rubber ducks. So. I'll just show you some, I have some half completed ones here. So just to kind of give you an idea of what we're going to be doing. So this is kind of like oh, this way, a little like Bob Ross style, little mountains and everything. So little duck there. And this is like a Northern Lights one. I just need to put the, um, I need to put the stars in and the trees in for that one. But see, since they're acrylic, I kind of do them in in segments. So I'll do like like the lights for all of them, and then while they're drying, do do something else for the other ducks. And yeah, it's a whole production line of ducks. Yeah, just started. Just started. <laughs> oh, we got the stickers too. I forgot. Yeah, these just came in. Well, Pulse Pulse Voices just came in. Oh, it's a little dark. You. Let's see, they're like holographic. There it goes. You can see it better on here. Yeah, there we go. Woo! Woo! <laughs> so those are fun. I don't know what we're gonna do with them yet, but we're gonna. <laughs> yeah, I know. Do something. Gotta do something. <laughs> Aw, here's our favorite dragon. Well, hi. Uh-oh. Oh, gosh. Splish! I swear we're gonna paint today. <laughs> Nikki, welcome on in. Alrighty, I'm just gonna wipe that off of my brush there. Don't have to wipe it all off. Yeah. I almost spilled that entire thing on the floor. <laughs> that would have been something. <laughs> it's like it smells. It smells okay now, but I don't know if it sits out for a couple days. <laughs> so I'm just gonna dip my two-inch brush tips into a little bit of. See, it's getting messy because it's at the end of this one too. A little bit. That liquid white there. I'm actually gonna tap some out on the palette because we don't need a whole lot of this. <laughs> no. <laughs> All right. Things start like crisscross. You see, like, <laughs> thanks for the follow. So I'm just gonna crisscross this liquid white in, and you'll see these little black gesso distant trees there, kind of fade, kind of fade away. Beep. 
And I'm crisscrossing it and kind of mixing it in with the liquid clear down here. So it makes it all nice and nice and misty. Again, just using this little crisscross motion. You can see like some of that liquid clear kind of sprayed about, just little little parts here and there. That's fine. It won't. It's not going to affect anything. It's fine. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and wipe off the rest of that. Jedi, welcome on in. I've got, a, I've got another Star Wars Band-Aid on today. It's got, well, there he is. <laughs> it's got R2-D2 on it, and it says beep. I'm running out, though. I'm down to the last couple. It's on the, it's on the grocery list. More Band-Aids. Oops. Move my cursor here. There we go. It's hovering over stuff. Viking longship on the right side sailing to the right. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> Star Wars is good for boo-boos, yeah. I mean, there you go. There you go. Pretty good for that part there. So I'm just gonna dip my brush into a little bit of Prussian blue, just because I have a little bit of sky popping up here. Not much though. Not much. <laughs> Angry Luigi. <laughs> Excuse me. Oh, thank you. Yeah, Poles was, Poles was hard at work doing a new layout. So that's, yeah, that's all brand new. All right. So you can see, I just have a teensy, teensy bit of Prussian blue up there. It's just the smallest amount. Don't need much at all. Okay. And oh, the Gengar left. Gengar. Alrighty. So I'm just gonna kind of start at the top here and crisscross. Stop right there and wipe off my brush. And I'm just going to take the color that's already on there and just kind of blend it in. <laughs> that one, oh, they're all leaving. They're all leaving. Uh, Meganium. Meganium. All right, let's wipe off most of what I can there. <laughs> Mad Dog has to get them all, yeah. But then if, if Mad Dog wants to get them all though, does that include missing no? <laughs> or Mad Dog wants to catch them all except for missing no. <laughs> exactly, yeah, so so for the for the dark parts of this painting, we're gonna put like a transparent layer of uh, it's sap green and Van Dyke brown. It's what I like to call Cthulhu green because that's the color I use for my Cthulhu. But it's yeah, like the corners are already dark, so hey, we're good. Two eleven. 
Sheesh. Sheesh. And GG Wally. All right, so I wiped out most of that. So I'm just gonna start from the top. I'm just gonna drag that down here. We don't want a whole lot of color here. Just to paint. Just to paint. Yeah, this one's a really interesting painting. Um, Cause what Bob did, it's kind of like a mixture between like a deep in the forest painting and then like um, like a evergreen landscape. So it's, it's kind of a mix. And it's got like a little string going on here and everything. <laughs> Mad Dog does not want the missing. <laughs> Great deal and treat your entire Pokedex to provide my signal. <laughs> oh, Oz, Ozgiloth? Ozgiloth. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna take a little more of that blue and put it over here. Just gonna take some of this and stretch it out. Okay, that's better. That's better. So we just see like a little bit of sky in this one. No, no, fan how dare you? Oh, okay. Raccoon, raccoon. Lord of the Rings. Okay, I was gonna say it sounded it sounded like something from like a like a fantasy book or something. So, <laughs> so so the underpainting is gesso. So basically, um, the canvas started off completely white, and then I just I did this black underpainting with uh, black gesso, and then all I've done so far is put the liquid clear on, uh, the liquid white on up here at the um, the area that was still white. And then just put a little. Did I say they little blue? I put uh, Prussian blue up there. <laughs> hey, I've I've seen Lord of the Rings. I've seen the first three. I've, I've seen the ones that matter. <laughs> All right, so. What I'm going to do next, do, do, do. I'm going to put a couple more of these kind of background trees in here. So for that, I'm kind of deciding which, which color I want to use. I think, I think, I think. I have this leftover color here that I wanted to use. Oh, what am I doing? <laughs> I haven't put my transparent color on. <laughs> That reminded me because I wanted that color right here for um because I'm gonna have some water. So I'm actually gonna put that color on first here. This isn't super super transparent, but actually, you know what? Let's do this number. Let's just do a usual water thing. Just gonna pull in stripes here. good just to give us a little area we know we're gonna put our water. Kev, welcome on in. Phone typos, it's all good. <laughs> Told the internet, yeah. 
the internet's being, it's being fun. It's being fun. <laughs> so let's put a little of that transparent color in. <clears throat> Ooh, excuse me. Ooh. Where's my local staples today? They refuse to price match. That's lying on something. <clears throat> this is Best Buy. It's kind of far away, I called. Confirmed that they had enough of what I wanted in stock. Dude assured me that they had over 50 of them. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. <laughs> of course, they always, like, they look at a computer and they're like, oh, yeah, we have them in stock. A lot of times they don't actually physically, <laughs> you know. Yeah. And a lot of times, like, what they see is what, what I can see. Like, if I go to michaels.com or something and I see they have, like, oh, you know, six of this canvas or whatever. And, later I go into Best Buy and finally get a kid who works there. They don't carry them in stock. <laughs> what? That's weird. So why would the computer say that they had them? I have questions. I'm just going to put this transparent color just in these dark areas here. Just a little bit there. Wipe that off. like foggy area, this green color. Yeah, heck, why not? Let's bring it in. All right, I'm gonna wipe some of that off. Lilo, <laughs> thank you so much for the raid. How's it going? You were doing some Chrono Trigger nights. <laughs> Good deal. Hope the stream went well. <laughs> oh, pfft, I didn't even introduce myself. <laughs> Hi, I'm Lee Gallagher. I'm a certified uh, Bob Ross instructor and we do Bob Ross style paintings here. <laughs> I'm just like, eh, whatever. For those of you that are totally confused, like, wait, how do we go from video games to painting? <laughs> PB twice? Oh my gosh. Wow. GG's. That's awesome. That's a, that's a game I need to play. I haven't played, I haven't played Chrono Trigger yet. <laughs> dear, dear readers, she normally has some idea of what's going on. <laughs> Sometimes. <laughs> and then Chad distracts me. Yeah, yeah, that's, yep. Yeah. That does happen. That does happen. <laughs> it happens. It's fine. It's all right. It's only Monday. <laughs> it's, 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 it's a busy month, though. It is a busy, busy month. I'm just gonna kind of blend out what I got here. That's good. All right, now I'm gonna go back in and put in some more of these kind of distant trees here. <laughs> and I'm going to the Staples near Best Buy. And they had them on sale. I still got them there. Gosh, didn't have enough in the store, so I stopped by the first store I was at. They had them on sale too. <laughs> the manager doesn't care enough to put tags on the shelves or care to check the price when the customers ask about it. Blech. Blech. <laughs> I can't I can't remember I said welcome in Vegas. <laughs> so welcome in. 
See, I'm losing it. I'm losing it, and it's only Monday. Ah. It's okay. It's okay. All right, so. Do, do, do. Off the liquid clear on here. Don't need that anymore. Okay, let's, let's, let's. Yeah. Let's go back to, I'm gonna go back to this color that I used down here for the water, but I'm gonna put a little bit, I'm gonna put a little bit of white in it. Just a little bit. <laughs> no worries, jar door, enjoy the lurk. All right. Mix that up a bit. So this leftover color is just sap green, uh, phthalo blue, and a little bit of alizarin crimson. But mostly sap green, phthalo blue. That's pretty. Yeah, let's use that. And this is that color with white, and this is that color with white and yellow ochre. So I might go back and forth between those two colors. <laughs> your your phone was being butt spot. <laughs> oh dear. I just had to yell at you once because all my right, right, med all my medical notes I put in a patient charge have received spell wrong because I'm just like, oh no. <laughs> no. So for this, I'm just gonna use a two inch brush, just gonna tap, just kinda on the edge there. Okay, that's good. And then I'm gonna hold it vertically. This is kind of a kind of a different technique that Bob does. I'm just gonna, gonna tap, tap upwards like that. Just a different, just a different thing. Uh oh. Oh dear. <laughs> Marlon, thank you so much for the gifts of to Kale. See? <laughs> Goodness gracious. <laughs> Kelsey, enjoy the peep out of the pocket squirrel emos. Oh dear, thank you so much for that. That's the best line for work. They wouldn't let me use the company card because it has my boss's name above the company name. Yep, yep. Pointing at my embroidered uniform shirt. Yeah, showing business card. Didn't matter. Didn't matter. Yep, yep. It's a bit, some places are strict like that. Yep. Okay, that's good. I'm going to I'm gonna wipe off my brush there. <laughs> oh. going on my palette there and lewd things going on. Oh dear. All right. Yes. <laughs> I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do the exact same thing with this color here. Like I said, these the same color here, just with a little yellow ochre. Good. 
it's the same thing. I'm just gonna flip it vertically. I have the paint on this edge here. So I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna like hit a couple areas here. <laughs> oh no, yeah. Yeah, the poor animals with all the all the lightning and the fireworks. It's yeah, it's it's a mess. Yeah, lightning hit really close to our house. Um Saturday morning. We were we were in bed and boom, oh my gosh, it was so close. I've never heard lightning that close before. And oh my gosh. Well thunder really, but and it blew out our modem, <laughs> so we had, had to get the modem replaced today. But that was it, you know, it was, it was pretty quick and easy, fortunately. So there, there is that. I know, I wasn't, I wasn't sure if I would be able to stream tonight or not with the internet. I'm like, Ugh. Yeah, yeah. But it was all covered and everything, so. Not a biggie, not a biggie, thankfully. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, they came right when they said they were gonna arrive and everything, so I was oh, very happy about that. But since we didn't, <laughs> we didn't have internet for most of the weekend, um, well, yesterday I spent all day uh, playing the new Story of Seasons game, which is Harvest Moon, but they're just under new name now, Story of Seasons. So, so I did that all day. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Really good. Really good. I know. <laughs> they even gave us updates like, oh, we're like 15 minutes away from your house. I'm like, okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's that's one one good thing about our internet provider anyways. One good thing. All right. I I'm just going to go in and kind of tap the edges here. Week here. Minimize. I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart. <laughs> Thanks for the follow. I found a little little hairs there, so I'm just gonna pop that out. There we go. Pop it out. Let's... Got a choke. Internet provider doesn't believe me when I tell them what's wrong with my internet and Jillian proceeds to waste my time. They, yeah, they they have to go through the whole the whole, yeah, the whole procedure before they send somebody out. It's, yeah. Yeah. Lawrence Oxio, welcome on in. I had a plastic knife and did some practice yesterday. I need to do more. It was fun. Hey, cool deal. <laughs> nice. I'm glad you were able to enjoy it and use it. That's great. Yeah, I have. <laughs> I, I just bought, like, a cheapo variety pack. My like, variety pack here. I don't, even, I don't even know where I got these. Some, but yeah, just some cheapo variety pack. That's that's just what I use for acrylic, though. <laughs> cheapo. <laughs> it says that on the bag. Cheapo variety pack. Mm, excuse me, itchy. All right. Let me do the same thing over here. So all I'm doing is just tapping with the corner of my brush there, just kind of blending in the bottoms of those trees, just kind of like making it all misty. Misty. I could even, I could mist it up even more. Hmm. <laughs> maybe, 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 maybe. Yeah, heck, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's make it a little... Just a little bit more misty. Yeah. All right. A little more titanium white. <laughs> yeah, that's the one you have. 
And I, I bought those a while ago, so. <laughs> just gone in with the titanium white but I wanted a little flavored a little bit with the green that's kind of a cool grayish green kind of like that System. Yes, they. Yeah, the tech guy told us that too. He said that if you if you yell like shut up into the phone, like it bypasses. Yeah. <laughs> oh no! Now everybody knows. No, oh no! I told us he, no. <laughs> you didn't hear that. <laughs> Whoops. You have a fact. <laughs> I bet the modem I was paying for went bad, and they said, our modems don't go bad. The temp came out, and four hours later, replaced the modem. <laughs> nice. Yeah. And you, it's like, for the most part, these people come out, and, you know, most people aren't great with technology, especially where we live. There's a lot of, a lot of older people and everything, so. But fortunately, I don't, but Bull's voice knows what he's talking about. <laughs> So yeah, he was able to tell them exactly what was going on. So they figured figured out what was going on pretty quickly. Okay, it's the same thing. I'm just going to take the two inch brush. I'm just gonna just tap the corner. I don't don't need much. Don't need much. All right, I'm just gonna tap just right at the base here. There we go. Okay, that should be enough. So I'm gonna wipe off my brush. I yell at the robot anyway. <laughs> Always gotta wonder if there's somebody like listening, like. People just yelling at robots. Oh, yeah, older people in Florida? What? No. Nah. <laughs> yeah, you must review your model to continue. Press 1 for help on how to unplug it. Oh. <laughs> and plug it back in. Or 2. If you know how to do it after you're done, press 2. I was doing it all in the voice. Intense swearing, yeah. <laughs> Transferring you to a representative. Like the commercial was like, representative, representative. Older, yeah, exactly. Older, not old. No, no, no. Older. But it's like older than what, yeah. Older. All right. There. So, so I wiped all the paint off of my brush there, so I'm just gonna go back in and I'm just gonna tap and make it misty. Squeak! I'm kind of doing like a little circular motion here too. Pretty good and misty there. All right, so let's go back in and 
throw in some evergreen tree. So we'll start with a dark color and then we'll put some highlights in and everything. <laughs> you ever try telling them the script they make you go through before they get to sing? <laughs> it's like, I, I, how did you know? Dreaded evergreens. Ah. <laughs> And for me, I find the evergreens easier with the um, with the the bigger fan brush, number six. That that one you can you can load with more paint and get it to a more like a finer chiseled edge. But then again, I think my uh, I think my number threes are kind of <laughs> they've kind of had it. I think I need some new ones. They kind of had it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I've seen where. Um, like a call center in India, they had a um, like a sheet of paper where they would go and like they would choose a name for the day, and yeah, they're all like like Tim, Eric, Adam, Sally, Alice, yeah, <laughs> like okay, <laughs> well, that's so funny. Like, oh, I'm 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 Derek today, <laughs> yeah. Oh, another Gengar. I gotta decide. Decide what color. It's gonna be pretty, pretty dark. So this is my pile of sap green and Van Dyke brown. I think I'm gonna go with this one because this one's a little lighter than this one. I don't even know what's in this one. I think it's just, I think it's just black and green. Yeah, so that one's just midnight black, sap green. I'll save that for the closer stuff. So let's go back to this stuff here. Sap green, Van Dyke brown. Some evergreen trees in. So, got lots of paint, lots of paint. <laughs> so, you're gonna use lots of paint. So, I kind of, to start putting paint in, I kind of wiggle it in like that, and then I, and then I do this. Just pull in one direction on both sides. Just pew, 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 pew. And what this is doing is chiseling that edge. Reminds me of the old old barbers, they would chisel the, <laughs> the shaving blade. Sure, that's what it's called, right? Shaving blade, I don't know. I don't know. They had that like leather strap. <laughs> Let's see, there we got our nice chiseled edge there. Oh, the Gengar's gone. Shape. <laughs> the Decapitator 9000. <laughs> is, is, that, is that the one on the Wells' stream? <laughs> the one that makes a clone of you? <laughs> People are like, what? <laughs> you know. You know. All right, I'm gonna put a whole bunch of trees in here. So yeah, this one is a pretty pretty good one for evergreen <laughs> practice. So let's do, actually first I'm gonna do a couple distant ones. So I'm just gonna tap and do a little like crash down trees like that. Let's get a little more, a little more paint. There we go. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah. And since this is all foggy and misty, it'll show up. Shut 
sharpen that again. So I have to sharpen and reload quite a bit. Okay, a couple more in the middle. And then we'll put some, some ones that are fully, fully fledged. Closer together down here. Towards the mist here. So layer upon layer upon layer. Lots of trees. I think I've seen that one. What was, oh gosh, what was the one I saw today? Well, it wasn't a video, it was just a, um, it was just a news article. It just happened, so it's not like in more news article, or more news stories yet, but it was a Florida man, of course. What did, what did he do? He was, he was on something. He went into a Domino's and he, he, he punched a worker and told him to leave. But he was the worker. The, he told the worker to leave the Domino's he was working at. Like, I don't know. Florida man. Yeah. Come over here. They might get covered up. They might not. We'll see. We'll see. All right. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm just going to kind of blend that row up. I'm going to wipe off my brush there. <laughs> oh, almost dropped it. <laughs> Back to my two-inch brush and just kind of just kind of tapping the bottoms of those trees into that mist. I think that color is a little light for the closer trees, so let's let's go with let's go with something di darker. Actually, let's. Hmm, do I want this color? Maybe ooh, maybe mix the two together. Yeah, let's do that. Is it raining again? Been raining on on and off all day. Yeah, let's grab some more here. Oh heck, let's grab it all. Uh, maybe. Yeah, that's good. That's good. All right. So we got a lot of paint. A lot of paint. off there. Same thing. 
sharpen. Sharpen the brush. All right. So we got nice dark color there. The darker it is, the easier to highlight it. Okay, let's do, let's sharpen it one more time. So basically with the evergreens, you're gonna you're gonna start them with a little line. So I'm gonna start right here. So I'm gonna type in a little line there and reload. Again, have them nice, nice and chiseled. So I'm gonna leave a little room, maybe about an inch or so, and just tap in just a little bit, just a little bit for a branch here. I'm gonna to flip to the other side, get more paint. I'm actually gonna reload. Get even more paint. We're just kind of tapping, tapping branches in here. And then so I'll, I'll go out and do a branch and then go back in and tap in the middle to kind of thicken up the middle there. And then as I'm traveling down the tree here, I'm gonna use more, more of the brush. Let's see how I, since I put that fog back there, it's kind of emerging. So it's just constant, constant play between dark and light. And then it kind of, blends in with the ground there. Okay. Tree number one. We're gonna put a couple in there. I'm just wiping off my fingers there. I'm not gonna wipe this one off. Man, pants, pants, welcome on in. <laughs> Bunch of these trees in. Let's put, and you don't have to decide now whether which ones are going to be in front. We'll, we'll decide that later. We'll decide with the highlights. So again, I'm just holding my brush so the bristles are kind of vertically oriented there. And let's put, oh heck, let's put one over here. It's going to be a little smaller. See, I go and reload right away after putting that little line in. So again, just the corner of the fan brush there, just to put a teensy bit, just a little, 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 little hint of a branch. I'm gonna reload. So I don't need to reload as frequently when I get down here because when we get down here, I'm using like most of the brush. <laughs> There's already paint like way down here in the brush, so. But at first, this first part here, because the branches are so small and thin. Of course, don't make your branches too thin, then you won't have anything to highlight. right in between them. right here. Like, I'm, gonna, I'm not going to put them like equidistant. I'm not going to put this one right in the middle. I'm going to have this one just a little, little closer over here. Don't want things to be too symmetrical. That would be boring. Okay. <laughs> tree friend. <laughs> Lots of tree friends in this one. <laughs> 
<laughs> we're gonna have a whole line of them right here. Yeah, this is a this is a really, really different Bob one. I've had my eye on it for quite a while. One of those. Of course, I I love it because of all the all the all the shades of green, you know. And green's my favorite. And I'm basically, I have my handle pointing towards the ground, and that's how you get the, the branches that hang down like that. So if you point your, point your end of your brush going up, you're gonna have branches that go the other way. And he does some of those in this painting, so we might, we might do that as well. So get some variety, tree variety. Some friends. There are some friends. <laughs> Tree friend. <laughs> so I mean, you could combine them. <laughs> Welcome in, messy. <laughs> or I could just call you Sky. <laughs> Welcome in, Sky. <laughs> Swampy. Oh yeah, the yeah. Of my heart. <laughs> Captain Arbor, thank you for contributing to the Rubber Duck stream, and thank. Oh, and also thanks, thanks for the follow. Oh, goodness gracious. <laughs> And we have a Pokemon. And um, yeah, we're very lurker friendly, so when you follow, I don't I don't call you. I don't call you out. So if you want to lurk, you can lurk. If you want to come out of lurk and catch Pokemon, you can do that too. <laughs> Welcome in, is it Luminate? Or is it Lum Luminate? <laughs> <laughs> All right, where are we gonna put her? We're just gonna we're just gonna line this thing up with friends here. So let's let's have maybe a small one here. Maybe a small one. Reload. Okay. And again, just gonna leave a little room for the top here. Just tap a little bit for the branches. And reload. Okay. <laughs> Let's make a duck set. I, I, I need I need a stream to force me to finish these ducks because they're just they're all just half finished over. <laughs> that we need to do another um, another shoe another shoe stream I'm painting canvas shoes. Haven't done that in a minute. Last one I did was um, Northern Lights, so next time I'll do. More of like a fall scene, something like that. Burr. Duck old, yeah. <laughs> awesome stuff from my first oil paint. Hope it goes well and arrives. Yay! Nice! <laughs> it's great to hear. It's fun. It's a lot of fun. <laughs> oh, and the those who are new to the stream, obviously we have we have Pokemon. <laughs> I know, I know. I'm because here I'll tell you why they're not commands. Because I look at it and I'm like, oh yeah, I should make that. I should make that a command. And then of course at, by the end of the stream, I've completely forgotten. And <laughs> so I need to I need to write it down or something. But I remember I I didn't make one for Yoda yet. But we I will make I will make a command for Yoda. <laughs> been, been busy watching a bad sci-fi movie called War of the Robots. How could it be bad? It's called War of the Robots. Pro tip, you can buy pre-made oil paintings. You don't have to paint them. This is true. This is true. 
Or you can buy them and adjust them. Ah. <laughs> no, no. I, di I didn't hear what he said when, when he got the painting. Mr. Pinter had a bunch of commands. Oh, jeez. Hard time to numbers, yeah. <laughs> add note. Ooh. <laughs> See? I could add an add note. Yeah. <laughs> Gosh. Oh, dear. Just like I don't, I don't know how that would work. Hmm. It would just like I don't know, make some kind of list or something for me. I don't know. <laughs> I'll have to look into that. Because I can I can never remember. The ruler should. <laughs> <laughs> it was like a kid in a candy store losing my mind ripping it open <laughs> we only just moved here a year ago so haven't had time to put nails in the walls for things so I hung it up in the worst spot oh my god <laughs> you love it <laughs> why is it not centered oh no <laughs> I'm, I'm pretty bad at uh, like these ones these ones are probably all off eh. <laughs> I'm, I'm bad at hanging things all, all my paintings are crooked. <laughs> the black paint looks like a grinning, laughing Grim Reaper with a hood on. Hold up. In the painting or on the, on the palette? I assume on the painting. Silly hobby. Yeah. <laughs> Redeems. Make, make a background painting off center. <laughs> That would, oh my gosh, could you imagine, could you imagine the YouTube comments? <laughs> Not ASMR. <laughs> Why is painting in the middle a crooked? Oh my gosh, that would drive people batty. <laughs> yeah, no worries, enjoy the lurk, enjoy. <laughs> On the palette, oh. Ooh, okay. Hold up. Now it's it's upside down, so I think like that. So the dark here. Hmm. I just see loot things. I don't know. <laughs> It's not not its forever home. <laughs> you can say hi to it every morning for now, so it's okay. That's that's good. That's good. As, yep, as long as as long as the painting makes you happy, then that's that's what's good. That's what we strive for. <laughs> Print a screenshot. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Put the screenshot in Discord. And draw around it. Oh no. <laughs> I should I should send you a a picture of the, the paintings I have in, in the room behind me. It's <laughs> they're just they're just whatever, <laughs> they're just hanging out as they can. <laughs> That's a company advertised for ladies' kills. Well, I mean, yeah. Death to death is laughing. I mean, it, yeah. I mean, well, kilts kilts in general are made of like heavier material because you know it's cold. You know, it's cold. <laughs> I'm trying I'm trying to get Pull's voice to get a kill. <laughs> well, uh, maybe make a uh, donation goal or something. <laughs> kill challenge. He's he's gonna he's gonna kill me. <laughs> I'll wear it. Kilt on the treadmill.
Anywho. <laughs> There was a place I ran into. It was in an outside mall because it's Florida. We have you know outside malls, and um, they had kilts. It was about an hour or so away. Look at my line of happy trees. <laughs> Death is laughing at all of us. That's for sure. That's for sure. They provide a certain nice breeze. I mean, not even know. Hey, hey, <laughs> kilts are great. <laughs> oh gosh. I don't know if I'd say they were comfy. It depends. It depends what you consider comfy, too. <laughs> well, yeah. Yeah, no. Yeah, apartment next to county. <laughs> Squidward. Ooh. Like this one? Kind of like the, the bluish green? Ooh. I like that. On the wheel. The wheel. Oh, yes, yes it does. Okay, I, the Squidward I see. Yep, yep, see, yep. Yeah, like that meme, yeah. <laughs> it's, yeah, it's the color, the color and the shape of it, it for sure. Yeah. <laughs> Every time I go to Renaissance Fair, I ponder, ponder buying a kilt. And then the only problem is, the only place you wear the kilt is at the Renaissance Fair, so then you have to go to more Renaissance Fairs. <laughs> See, I got what you meant. I got what you meant. <laughs> the thing with the thing that you put the paints on. I don't know. Hey, sometimes I put the paints on a paper plate, so yeah. The thing, yeah. The thing, a thing, a thing. That thing. All right, let's throw, let's see how many we got. One, two, three, four, five. Ooh, we got an odd number. Uh-oh. You know what I will do, though? Let's put some, I need to put some trees in between. Make it a little, a little more dense. And a couple over here too. Why not? Let's sharpen that a bit. Lots of trees. Lots of trees. Let's reinforce some of these branches here around those and let's put a couple a couple distant trees up here too that's good mm -hmm. excuse me Is in the, it's in the Discord. <laughs> I've literally said, I can't take you anywhere nice, can I? Last time she took me to a Ren Fair. Oh no! <laughs> Even at the Ren Fair? Sheesh. Let's see, you're banned from NASA, you're banned from the Ren Fair. Where, where else? <laughs> where else can you go? <laughs> Sheesh. somewhat kid friendly <laughs> at least pg-13 haven't settled on paint colors or where things go yet yeah <laughs> oh 212 oh unintentional art with lady g that's right that's right 
super high class restaurants. Oh dear. Oh dear. All right. And you know what I'll do? I'll just go back in with that brush and just kind of tap out some of these trees here. Just blend them in. Okay, I think that's pretty good. So, before. Before we put the highlights on, I'm just gonna put little little trunks, little trunks. So let us. Hmm, let's see here. Let's see here. So I have this Christmas green from another stream. So this is a lizard and crimson, and sap green. So I'm gonna grab a little bit of that. I'm gonna throw some of this color in here. Let's see what happens. That's, yep, that's exactly what I wanted. Because <laughs> this brown was a little to the red side, so I wanted a little more green, but I also I want wanted white. From the bottom of my heart. Oh, thank, thanks for the follow. So, with that, it's that brown and white mixture. I'm just gonna pull it out here, flat on the palette, and then I'm just gonna go in with the knife and I'm gonna kind of push, push that there. And I'll tap a little bit out. We don't need a whole lot of paint for there. This is just like the indication of a trunk. So let us, I'm gonna start with the, the bigger closer trees since I have more paint on my knife at the moment. Gonna reload one more time. Okay. Just a little bit of paint, just a little bit, because all we want is just a little indication, just a little indication of a trunk. Just kind of touching. And of course, it's not one solid line either, because you're not gonna see the whole trunk. So I'm just gonna wipe that off. That's all we need, just a little bit. I'm gonna go to a Gordon Ramsay restaurant. Oh dear. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You have to wear that shirt. Exactly. You paid four hundred dollars to get this kicked out of some place. Yep. Yep. <laughs> but think of the memories. <laughs> it is. It is a real tea. <laughs> yeah. Oh no. <laughs> yep. Slackinator. Slackinator shirt. Church is the perfect place to wear that shirt. I'm sure there's lots of babies there. <laughs> it's perfect. Nobody will hand their baby over to you for, to, for you to hold them. So, I mean, it's a win-win. <laughs> it's a win-win situation. See that too. Yeah, see, the, those, those shirts can just go together. Just make a whole team. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and highlight these. And I'm not going to put super, super bright highlights on them. So let us. We got to decide on the highlight color. That's the hard part. That's the hard part. So, 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 so. Let us. I think I'm going to go. I'm going to go back to this color here. I like that kind of grayish color. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to, well, actually, you know what, since I don't want the highlight to be too dark, or I mean too, <laughs> too light and too punchy, I'm just going to try just with this and let's see what happens here. So the way I'm loading to highlight the, the branches, again, the, uh, the handles pointed towards the ground and I'm just kind of like, it's kind of like bouncing like that. Just tap, 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 tap. But you can already see the branches in the in the paint there as I'm doing that, so that's what you're looking for. Again, decent, decent amount of paint there. So, and I'm just gonna highlight the closer ones, so just like maybe these, maybe those three. <laughs> it's a 
did the Pokemon leave already? I didn't even didn't even see it. And Pidgey. <laughs> oh no. He's still there. Oh. Oh dear. Okay. Oh, my brush wants to curve the other way today. Oh, we'll go with it. I'll go with it. Okay, that's fine. So, I'm going to kind of start, not exactly at the top. I kind of want to start. Usually when I do my highlights, I kind of start in the middle. Because when you're first starting your highlights, that's when you have the most paint on your brush. So, Let's see how bright that is. I think that's pretty good there. It's gonna reload. Now I'm gonna go up and touch just a little bit because don't need much paint for up here. Reload. Do, do, do. So this tree's gonna be in front of that one. Same with that one. Mystery by Danielle Steele. <laughs> is that is Danielle Steele? Is she the one that has like all those epic photographs of herself on the back? Like, there's there's one author, and she for all of her photos, she like <laughs> she has like this like super elegant gown on, and and she always like like poses like in front of this like gigantic oil painting of herself, and then yes, and and she she poses in like. I don't know if it's her office, it's somebody's office, and it like it looks like something out of the movie Clue, and it's just like super over extravagant. I I, 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 I don't maybe it wasn't her, it was somebody. I can't remember who it was. <laughs> I don't know. Redeems had googly eyes to painting. Where would you even put them? Hold on. On the tree? I guess. Oh, yeah, because the tree kind of looks like a mustache. Yeah, that works. Sure. <laughs> Unredeems Googly has to be. <laughs> it worked. It worked. <laughs> All right, let's let's go over to this one here. And I'm just tapping just, just very lightly here. And this is this is where putting the layer of liquid clear or liquid white on is as thinly as possible is really helping you because if you put it on thick, then it, you know it's 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 harder. To do the highlights, the thicker the painting is. But since everything is nice and thin, I don't have to work too hard for my highlights here. Just kind of, just kind of tapping them in. Agatha Christie. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, they made a, um, they made a television series. I assume it's like, well, either PBS or BBC or one of those things. But when I was working at the library, they had like the whole series there. Okay, let's check that one out. Yeah, that's good. All right, same deal last one here. So I'm just going to highlight that, that last one right there. Do, 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 do. 
Mm -hmm. OG. <laughs> Big, Bigfoot's Wild Weekend. All right. I mean, <laughs> sounds like something. I'm assuming this is like a ripoff of Harry and the Hendersons. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm assuming. I mean, you know. Well, I guess it depends what year it came out. Uh -oh. It's not you. It's not you. did an awful <laughs> draw a Pokemon from memory of Natu the other day. I did not. I don't think I posted that one to the Discord. <laughs> I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart. Thanks for the follow. This <clears throat> husband decided, hey, I haven't seen this in forever the other night and promptly left. <laughs> nice. A weird movie with a scary Bigfoot. Oh, no. Wing Commander. Mm. Why do I have Rock the Boat stuck in my head? I've had some, well, I always have something weird stuck in my head. I went through about, I don't know, three or four different songs today. And now it's that. And it's like, could be something Pulse Voice played like five days ago. <laughs> it just reappears. Oh, it's frozen? Oh, no. Hopefully I'm not frozen anymore. I have melted. I'm no longer frozen. Hopefully. This book, this Bigfoot so far just wants to party. Well, you know, there you go. There you go. Legal notice from previous message. Oh dear. <laughs> oh gosh. <laughs> Disclaimer. How many disclaimers do we have in the stream? <laughs> It's a weird 80s movie with a Bigfoot, and I'm pretty reminded, but I must not have been in the mood. <laughs> and no, Janet, it wasn't Little Monsters. Harry and the Hendersons is like the, the Bigfoot movie. Oh, that cabin chance. Oh, no. Persecutor, well, come on in. <laughs> Sorry about that cabin chance. That is extremely low. <laughs> Yeah, it was. I'm scared to Google. <laughs> yeah, that's a highly recognizable Bigfoot, too. Because it's like, kind of like E.T., you know? They kind of tried to make him, like, kind of friendly looking and not scary, but I still think E.T. is kind of scary looking. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, we like horrible movies. That's always fun. Bad movies are fun. <laughs> okay, I think I'm good for good for those trees here. So then I'm gonna go in. I'm going to try to think. Do I want to use the big brush or or? Yeah, let's use let's use the one inch brush. Let's let's go to the one inch brush. 
If it was the scary one. <laughs> Fear and the Resistance. You mean not John Lithgow? <laughs> Welcome in, Sherlock. <clears throat> if you didn't have nightmares from E.T. as a child, were you really living, though? That's for sure. That's for sure. I agree with that. I haven't seen it. I've only seen like the, the very ending of Harry and the Hendersons. That's 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 a movie I gotta add to my list because that's like classic 80s, you know. Jaws scared you more than E.T. <laughs> Turned around and left the room. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Alright. So I'm gonna put I'm gonna put some some grass in here. So I'm gonna go back to this nice dark color I have here. So this is sap green, Van Dyke brown, and midnight black. So I have the brushes kind of like horizontally oriented there, and I'm just tapping, just tapping this color in here. Okay. So I couldn't watch this again. Oh no. How it comes to Frogtown, yeah. <laughs> oh, we really just got food. How it comes to Frogtown, yep, that's the one. Mappy, <laughs> Mappy man, welcome, welcome on in. We're, we're, we're talking about Hell comes to Frogtown. <laughs> I'm just gonna say that over and over again. <laughs> Still don't want to swim in the ocean that I can't see that to the bottom. That's, you know, that's, that's a, that's a good, that's a good rule for life, actually. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't even that one. It was a different one. <laughs> we like bad movies. What, what, what can I say? What can I say? So I'm just going to put in this grassy area here. So I'm going to kind of act like it's kind of like tilting down towards towards the water here. It's gonna get a little thinner up here. We got a little more, a little more paint. Let's see. That's kind of like the land is. Can't think of the word. <laughs> Tilting down. That's not the word I was looking for. That's what we're going with. And I'm just putting in the dark color first. And then we'll highlight it. And we'll highlight it later. So we're gonna make it a little, a little thicker here, where it's closer to us. Sleep well. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> if I had a nickel. <laughs> okay, my brain, my brain corrected that to the the mystical adventures of Billy Ocean, and <laughs> that would that would also be amazing. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you tell them like we have a Lady Gallagher original in the house. <laughs> what? Put 
it's kind of a misty area between these trees and some kind of closer trees here. So let me, let me wipe, wipe out that one inch brush. <laughs> you want to see that movie, the, the Mystical Adventures of Billy Ocean? I want to see that movie. Actually, I mean, the music video to Loverboy is, is a mystical adventure of Billy Ocean. <laughs> if you've never seen, if you, yeah, if you if you have never seen the music video for Loverboy by Billy Ocean, do yourself a favor and look that up. Because it's basically like the Star Wars cantina scene. Yeah. It's pretty great. <laughs> Big art person person. <laughs> it, it, it is an educational stream. We um, <laughs> we learn about Roddy Piper movies. We learn about Billy Ocean. Let's see. <laughs> Paint the show bear piece. Oh man, I oh, I have to find it. But I'm part of this group on Facebook, and it's 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 called something like. Uh, <sighs> peculiar artists or something like that. And somebody did this amazing Chuck E. Cheese painting. And yeah, it was it was creepy. Oh man, it was so good. I, I know I saved the picture, but it was a while ago, so I bet if I if I went to the group and just typed in Chuck E. Cheese, I could I could probably find it that way. So I'll have to I'll have to post that in the Discord. <laughs> Vega, thank you for contributing to the duck stream. Let's see how far we are on this duck stream here. How far? 8%? Ah. Well, it just started today, so it's okay. It's okay. <laughs> All right. Let's, 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 let's. Oh, I got a sign color. I'm going to go back to this bluish color here. I'm just gonna, just gonna tap. Yeah, there we go. Kind of want more. There we go. Tap a little bit more. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh yeah, I like that color. I'm using for this little, this little hazy back stuff, hazy back stuff, <laughs> hazy, <laughs> hazy bushes here. I just went back to this kind of bluish greenish color that has the, the white in it. <laughs> Trinket, thank you for contributing to the duck stream. <laughs> It was it was the eighties. I mean that's what yep. That's that's what they did. <laughs> exactly, Marlick. Yeah, yeah. Like, oh no, no, we got our pizza. Oh my god. <laughs> I always like Chuck E. Cheese better than the show bear uh the show bear the showbiz pizza. Just because like I don't know, for some reason I've always liked like mice characters and rat characters, like in um, in Super Mario Brothers too, of course. Uh, Mouser, I liked him. That's no good. The great clip of us watching cheese suggestion to watch a showbiz piece of video. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Rescue is your favorite favorite animal Disney movie. Nice. I have to, I have to see that one too. It's another one I need to add to my list. Five all five all goes west. All that. You see all those.
I'm gonna tap a little up here too. some of those some of those cool trees he's got uses this really light greenish yellow ochreish color so oh I forgot to put out the yellow ochre oh no wait I used the yellow ochre that's what I did so I'll put out a little bit more let's grab some it into basically that same color with more white here. Welcome on it. <laughs> Welcome on in. <laughs> that was like Oliver and Company, but well, half of it is the music, of course, you know. <laughs> But of course, the story is basically Oliver, so you know, yeah. <laughs> start with good source material. You know. Yeah, no, yeah, no. All right, I'm gonna take my fan brush. I'm just gonna tap it. Just gonna tap to load here. All right. I'm gonna do these like <laughs> push-up trees here. So basically, so you see my handle is pointing upwards, so that means the, the branches are gonna go upwards now. Put a little stem in the middle there. there. Cute little, cute little tree things. So again, just tapping to load. And with these, I'm kind of starting at the bottom of these little trees and just kind of pushing, pushing upwards. There's some uh, desert plants that Bob does in this way as well. Company, yeah. 
Speaking of Disney, has anyone else noticed how depressing the old like eighties, nineties Disney movies actually are? There, there's some, yeah. <laughs> they, they, they talk about some serious things. It's too good to be a Disney movie. It doesn't have that zero, zero's Disney funk. It's one of the only good things that that dark era of animated films and straight to the DVD sequels. <laughs> That's another one I haven't seen. Blast from Santa. Well, that, that blast from the past. Home on the Range. Was that even Disney? Was that even Disney? <laughs> Draw with welcome on in. <laughs> Young Brendan. There you go. Yeah. He's a good guy. The mummy. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, yep. Yeah. <laughs> See, yeah. Let's see, where else do I want to put? I'll put a couple over here. Do 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 do. These ones are further away, so a little they're a little more subtle here. Yeah. Little grassy things. friend. Let's give him a friend. And since we have to have an odd number, let's put another one over here. <laughs> For Bob. For Bob. It's just like a different, kind of a different technique. This one has so many trees in it. It's pretty much go through like every, every different way of making a tree here. Let's give you a little, little top too. There we go. All right, I think that's pretty good for those cute little things there. So. Well, why do we have that light color? Let's put a couple little sticks and twigs and things. So, let's see. Let's go back into that kind of brownish color that we had. And I think I'm going to add... I'll add some of this liquid white. Let's add that to that brownish mixture. <laughs> there were stop forwarding packets thanks to LG checked on how far we were on the duck hole thing no I was wondering where you went I was like ruler went quiet no no <laughs> see everybody's having issues with the internet boy <laughs> Brent's stupid dumb charm <laughs> 14 year old Paints. I feel funny. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> Diane, do you welcome on in? <laughs> wow. <laughs> oh, Diane, do you welcome? Or pff, I mean, not. I already said welcome in. I meant GG on the on the zoo band. <laughs> My brain went to the one thing, it went to the other thing, and then there it is. Shiny purple charmy boy, nice. <laughs> alright, alright. Let's, 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 let's. Or do I just want the. Yeah, let's, yeah, let's go. Let's go with the brown. Okay, I'm gonna grab, I'm gonna grab a script liner here. Boy, 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 boy. And 
I'm just going to dip this into my paint thinner and just eh, just dip like eh, maybe a drop or two onto that brown mixture I have here. All right. So this is the brown where it's alizarin crimson and sap green. And I just put some white in it. So I'm kind of spinning it like, like there. And that's just to get nice pointy, nice pointy end there. <coughs> Excuse me. sticks and twigs and things. This is this is where Bob says if you have a if you have a little twitch in your hand, use it. help too because then you get the the whooshing get the movement there we go that's good oh he's a spindly one. Oh, I like that one a little spindly spindly one <laughs> that is a good that's a good point why do they call it sap green we need to look into that <laughs> sap green and pretty and blue nice kev thank you for redeeming beat the devil out of it let us let us let's use a one inch brush so Clean that into my paint thinner. Squeeze that out. All right, and then we're going to go to our double can. And there we go. All right. <laughs> Good beating. because they're a sap for a nice shade of green. Yeah, there you go. Bitwise, welcome on in. <laughs> Hope you're doing well. 147, nice. All right. Let's see, let's see. I'm gonna do another, another little paint thinner. That's good there. Okay. I, mm, actually, I'm not going to wash that out because I'm going to need that in just a sec. What I'm going to do, go back to 
my one inch brush here and put some more dark color on there. So, pew, pew, pew. a nice dark, dark green, so sap green, midnight black, and that type brown. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, Kevin Chance went on. Sorry, I'm painting for stuff two weeks ago. <laughs> top five percent hey it's a start that's a start exactly better than nothing that's right that's that, that's that's like a very 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 common thing it's like you see this you know blank canvas and you're like oh, I don't want to mess it up like no 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 you're halfway done wait, wait. <laughs> that's right five percent that's almost a whole year <laughs> it's been 84 years <laughs> it, that yeah that too yeah watercolor yeah that's whew, that's a whole other animal <laughs> so I'm gonna have some some big old trees on the side here so what I'm gonna do is just kind of I'm gonna use this one inch brush and kind of like tap in just tap in some branches here and there Holding it horizontally here. Okay, I think that's pretty good for that. Yeah. So we're gonna do the same thing the other side. This one's gonna come over a little bit more. Maybe have this one, this top ones reach out a little more. Okay, yeah, that's good there. All right, wipe that brush off. Exactly, yeah, blank pages is, is the scariest part, yeah. Mm hmm. Like the anxiety of it, yeah. <laughs> Andre is a cool name. <laughs> I used to think I was indecisive, but now I'm not sure. <laughs> yeah, with a name like that, you have to kind of <laughs> work against it. Lil's godmother is named Audrey. Nice. Taking action is the motivation. I like that. That needs to be written like, like on a sign. <laughs> All right. Do, do, do. So I'm going to go back to go back to mm, I'm gonna go back to that brown color but I think I'm gonna add I think I'm gonna go darker this time so let's add a little more of that pure red and green there Okay. 
There we go. I'm just gonna wipe off my knife there. <laughs> Now those rascals. <laughs> I got a pickle. I got a pickle. I got a pickle. Hey, 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 hey. I have pickled okra. That's not bad. And cut log, same thing, yep. Because you look at it and it's like all the possibilities. And it's, yeah, it's, it's scary because you're like, you never know how it's going to come out. Like, you know what? You can see something in your head, but pfft. if I see something in my head, it, it never comes out like that. <laughs> ever, ever, ever. Yep. It's <laughs> the way a creative works. Pidgey. That's not a Pidgey. Really? You don't have a Pidgey? What? What? Mm -mm -mm. I'm go back in here. Grab some of that dark color. Yep. All right. start and eh, like over here put a little more paint thinner in there make it flow a little better okay It's a little on the darker side. Now I'll brighten it up just a little bit here. Coughing on my own, choking on my own spit here, sorry. <coughs> Anywho, <laughs> it's all good. Just gonna highlight that a little bit more. Do -do 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 -do. I'm gonna stand back a sec, see how that's. Oh, yeah, that's cute. That's a cute tree. That's a cute one. So I'm kind of going back and forth now between the, the darker brown and the lighter. A variety of branches in there. Okay, I'm gonna do a couple more. That's a couple more up top here. some of this here. There we go. Ah, that's good for that tree. Let's work on this one over here. <laughs> I 
Oh, gosh. You could do an entire stream of you making that sound. And people on YouTube would probably love it. I hope. <laughs> So much. Oh no. <laughs> S, S minus. <laughs> this concludes it. My my favorite cheat. My, my favorite teacher was in fourth grade. Mr. Seymour. He was a cool dude. He loved whales, and he said he said whales like that too. He said whales. <laughs> he was the coolest. <laughs> It was cool. Oops, I got that brown all over me. That's okay. That's okay. <laughs> Grabbed your chin and shook it up and down for talking in class. Ooh. <sighs> Are we all surprised? Oh, comments include, Amanda continues to do well at English. Concerns about talking out of turn. <laughs> like on my report cards, it always said, very quiet, keeps to herself, doesn't really play with the other children. <laughs> What can I say? Once an introvert, always an introvert. Favorite teacher was either my seventh grade art teacher or my high school choir teacher. See, I had, I, yeah, I had a really cool, really cool science teacher in seventh grade. Of course, we would, you know, we would watch uh, Bill Nye the Science Guy, and you know, <laughs> science and art. That was, those are always my favorite. You're very much like our oldest child. <laughs> yeah. It's okay. It's okay to be introverted. It's okay. Trying to start. I'm going to start this one over here. Make it kind of bumpy. The gold trunk there. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> See, we we introverts, we need our we need our outgoing social butterfly friends to like to to drag us into things and <laughs> I always had that that uh, extroverted friend in middle school like I'd be the wallflower and she'd be like come on let's let's go having fun and dance because you know people weren't actually dancing with each other it was just friends dancing with friends you know that's that's how it was in seventh grade you know dancing to the Tootsie Roll <laughs> Oh, you're on the da dip. <laughs> you know, normal, normal middle school dance songs. I already knew that they were teaching in science class, so I just screw around. <laughs> I kicked out of class to sit in the hall more than once. Oh, man. That's your mother and your brother. Mm. I was just the one that taught her in class. <laughs> Yeah, see, it was it, you just put, you push the envelope just a, just just enough. Yeah, see, that's 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 good. That's there you go. Over here. 
kind of make a crossover, why not? We can have a crossover. Like I went to dances in fifth grade and oldest is that age. Yep. <laughs> yeah. geology class it was held in the chem lab I was still bored so I learned how to pick the locks out of the drawers what that's what we came to is oh, geez I disassembled the locks and changed the cylinders so the keys wouldn't work in the right drawer numbers oh my gosh <laughs> they should have like moved you up a grade or something to give you a challenge I had one detention and one in school suspension Ooh. <laughs> I just want to make I want to make another bigger tree here kind of crossing over I think that's what I want to do I think that's what I want to do good for that one. Let's go ahead and highlight these guys real quick. I still have to highlight my grass down here too. <laughs> Have you ever struggled with perfectionism? Nope, because I... I <laughs> I know nothing I do is perfect. I've, I've never been one of those people. I've never been one of those perfectionist people. I've actually like kind of been the opposite, <laughs> if that makes any sense. Like, um, like if something is like, like a whole things are lined up perfectly, I'll purposefully, you know, <laughs> not on a painting so much, but like if things are lined up on the counter, I'll like put something out of place and, make it look more interesting. I, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if that makes sense. Okay, it, may, it does. It's like, I don't know. Um, I, also, I also have something called, you can probably tell uh, from looking at, from looking behind me at my uh, desks here where I, I'm supposed to be doing <laughs> acrylic paintings. There, there's an old term, it's an art term called horror vacui. And it basically translates to the fear of empty spaces. Not that I have a fear of empty spaces, but but it's kind of like an art thing. Like if you think of um, uh, like Middle Eastern art and like Celtic art, where like they fill up an entire page of like just like little doodles and, and script and stuff. And it's so that that's what they <laughs> that's how, how one of the descriptions for for that sort of thing. So anyways, if I see like empty space on a counter, like my brain's like, oh, put stuff there. Oh, I can I can put stuff on that on that empty counter. Yes. <laughs> and it drives Paul's voice nuts. So <laughs> he's the more organized one and I am very very disorganized. But it's one of those things where I'm disorganized, but I know where everything is. So I always say it's like when he when he cleans up and puts stuff away, it's like it's like that part and she blinded me with science. Like she's tidied up and I can't find anything. <laughs> it's like to be like, pulls away, where did this go? Where is this? <laughs> Her dances were nothing like Andy's dances. It was very PG with the anxiety of wanna dance. Yeah no. Yeah no. 
<laughs> After a while, that became boring as a teacher learned to look at the numbers on the long side. <laughs> oh, gosh. So, ruler knows how to pick locks. So, um, you know, keep that in mind. <laughs> Let's keep that in mind. Oh, gosh. I just care if you look at a Bunsen burner up, up to the water and turn it on. You can shoot water about 35 feet. Oh, dear. That's all the time semester ended, which I think Miss Ray was praying for. Yeah, yeah. She's like, get this kid out of my class. <laughs> oh, yeah, you had no CD roomie in college, don't get me started on things you did. Yeah, yeah. With the pens on it were. Absolutely. Like there's um sometimes you'll see like posts on, you know, Facebook or or wherever, and it's a whole collection of pictures like that. Pictures that are like that should be perfect, but like, yeah, somebody did something bad. Like, you're, if you're, if you're looking at uh, one of them was like tiles on the floor, and it was like a perfect checkerboard, except two tiles were switched, and it was like, <laughs> or another one was like a piece of pie, or no, no, like like a whole pumpkin pie, and then you know how you normally cut a pie, kind of like a pizza, right? Well, somebody cut like a triangle shape like right in the middle of it so that they didn't get any of the crust <laughs> that's just mean that's just mean <laughs> I wouldn't do that sometimes the crust is really good nowadays so <laughs> I'm gonna put it <laughs> I'm gonna put in some more things here Let's paint. <laughs> I can't decide what I want for the grass. I think I'm just going to... I'm going to go back to this green and Van Dyke brown color. And I'm going to add white to it and see what I get here. Play around with some color. Play around with color. Actually, before I do that... Before I do that... Just have one last, one last area. Well, you know, actually, 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 before I do that, <laughs> I'm just all over the place today. I'm just gonna wash off my fan brush here. I apologize to anyone for trying to follow along. <laughs> Mischief is not necessarily the same. That's true. That's true. <laughs> That's the time the reason I can't stand something is perfectionism. I was able to start painting only six months after I bought my first acrylic paint. That sucks. Hopefully I'll be able to cut the strings. Going back to my original plan. <laughs> I know I've changed my mind like three times today. Well, not today, but I mean within the last like three minutes. Well, that was fast. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I changed my mind. I'm gonna go back and do the. I'm gonna go back and do the, the grass here. Okay. Let's add. Let's add titanium white to that sap green. Van Dyke brown color. All right, <clears throat> let's see what we get here. Excuse me. 
I do like that. I do like that. Okay. There it is. That's going to be my grass color there. And I'm just going to wipe that off. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> well. <laughs> yeah. that's, yep, that's that's the yep, that's the appropriate reaction right there. What is it with this stream and dead mice? <laughs> At least she didn't put in her travel mug. I'm gonna dip my brush into a little bit of liquid white, just to make it a little thinner there. Actually, I'm gonna put a little bit out there. There we go. There we go. And again, I'm just kind of tapping. Tap, 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 tap. Oh, brush, 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 bristles, bristles, horizontal there, bristles. And I'm going to go ahead and put the grass in. So basically, like I was saying, this is Bob, where Bob would say, like, oh, pay attention to the lay of the land. So basically, the grass is kind of going in the direction of where the water is there. So kind of tapping in, like, little, little, like, lines of grass here. <clears throat> so I have, like, the top there where it's the most contrasty. And I'm just kind of working my way here. I'm gonna flip my brush to the other side. Get more paint. Of course, if the paint is not coming off your brush. You know what to do, add more liquid white. There we go, so now we got our little, little stripes of grass coming in here. A little more. sure to leave those little little dark areas in there to keep your areas of grass separated and I'm just gonna keep going See, it's getting a little softer as it's going away from us there okay and just a little more here. Now, Bob, he puts a giant rock right there. <laughs> He's got a giant boulder over here, a giant boulder over here. I'm not putting the boulders. <laughs> not today, Bob, not today. color a little bit for the trees too why the heck not so let's just kind of flip the brush so now it's horizontal so now I'm tipping or dipping <laughs> the corner of the brush into that paint there same paint You can laugh about it now, but oh man. Oh gosh. Boulder, yeah, boulder chance is 0%. <laughs> 
All right. So I'm going to highlight this little tree right over here. So basically I'm going to kind of highlight every clump, like different clumps of leaves. So I'm going to start like right over here. So I'm starting like <clears throat> at the top of the clump of leaves. Making my way, I'm working my way down there. There we go. That's like that. Reload. Mm -hmm. There we go. I'm gonna do this one up here. back there. Let's change the change the flavor a bit. I'm gonna wipe off that color from the brush there. Oh thank you. <laughs> practice, practice, practice. Practice, practice, practice. Professor, welcome on in. <laughs> Celebrate. I was gonna say, like, what in the world? It's Dunsparce. <laughs> it's true, I have no idea how to react. I'm just like, oh, thank you. I don't know. <laughs> Pants Pants knows me. She's, she's got me figured out. She's got me figured out. <laughs> and look at that smiley face. Look at that. Yeah. What a happy smiley face. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey, Mad Dog. Nice. GG. 193. 193. Pew, pew, pew. All right. I think I'm gonna do, I think I'm gonna do, let's, 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 let's grab, let's grab a little more of that, that blue, bluish green here. I don't know what this color is reminding me of. It's reminding me of something, like a toy I had when I was a kid or something. I can't, can't put my finger on it. I don't know. Maybe one of the He-Man Snake Man guys. I don't know. I can't can't quite put my finger on it. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know. So I always got a little little bit of that bluish on there. I'm just gonna just gonna hit a little back here. Just like some background and things. Uh, maybe a little lighter. Cobra Khan? That's okay. I'm, I'm trying to... Is that the one that, like, one of them it could, like, spit water? That would... <laughs> Can we tell me want this? Yes. <laughs> Reason for quitting job. Well, I saw LG painting and <laughs> I was like, I want to do that. 
<laughs> exactly. Screw it. <laughs> what? There's a sploosh redemption. What? Chuckles. I didn't see that. Thank, <laughs> Thank you, Professor. <laughs> Thank you so much. Sploosh! <laughs> we changed some of the... Um, some of the settings, so some some of the sounds are a little lower. So I apologize, I didn't hear that. <laughs> the light green looks like a face face on view of Java, but with a slug like alien in front of him. He did spit water. I think that that might that might be the one then, yeah, because it was it was kind of like a like a weird like kind of bluish greenish kind of thing like that. That's probably it. <laughs> Boltzweiss and I keep talking about, like, we need to make an exclamation point claimed. <laughs> See, I can, like, instantly buy the painting. <laughs> one of these days. One of these days. Added to the grocery list. <laughs> Along with, what was it? Exclamation point Yoda. I forget. See, I already forgot what the other one was because it was, like, two hours ago that we were talking. <laughs> I don't remember. I don't remember. Blah. <laughs> There we go. Just a little bit lighter there. Okay. Mm -mm -mm. Just moving to the side here. Just kind of checking, checking from different angles. Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> Zero to fourteen. Welcome on in. <laughs> Thank you so much for the raid. Oh, and what were you up to? Do you rest in Contra? Ooh, that's, yeah, Contra, Contra is one I'd like to learn someday. <laughs> I hope you had a good stream. Um, welcome in, everybody. I'm Lady Galaga. I'm a certified Bob Ross instructor, and we do Bob Ross style paintings. <laughs> Sometimes we do game paintings, too. It did terribly, but it was fun. That's all that matters. That's all that matters, as long as you had fun. If a cabin shows up, then I'm out. Oh, no. <laughs> I hope you're doing well. Glad I had a good stream. Let's see. We are eh, we're nearing we're nearing the end here. We got just putting in some little background little background bushes and things here, and I gotta highlight that tree up there. I gotta decide on a color. That's always that's always hard. That's always hard. Mm-hmm. You know what? I'm gonna touch a little bit of that blue up here. Something like that. Do, do, do. Hmm. Let's do. Maybe, 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 maybe. Hmm. Ooh, let's do. Yes, I see the color I want. Okay. I'm just gonna wipe this off. <laughs> you're fine. You're fine. <laughs> We're trying to find a, a way to free the, 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 to make it easy. Make it easy. <laughs> you forgot Fraggle Rock existed until about twelve seconds ago. Oh man. I was young when it was on, so I don't remember a whole lot of it. They did play uh, reruns. Gosh, I don't know, about 15 years ago on some station. I can't remember which station it was, but, but I don't remember a whole lot from it. This gives you where the wild things are vibes. Nice. <laughs> it's like, yeah, Fraggle Rock is one of those things I had, like, faint memories of. Like, I had memories of the, um... I forget what they were called, but they were like, it was like a, like a family of three, like, kind of like, they looked like they were people made out of garbage. Like, <laughs> I had faint memories of those people. And then like, I saw pictures of them, you know, later on years after. And I'm like, ah, that's where those people are from. It's from that show. It was like one of those things. <laughs> <laughs> Good old Fraggle Rock. Pew. 
Mm -mm. I think I want, I think I want that color. I think I do. Yeah. I might mix it in with, oh heck, let's, yeah, let's mix it in with that color. I barely use that color, so. There we go. Yeah, that's nice. paint is thick enough. I don't need any liquid white. Let's do a test here and see. Oh, nope. Yep. Need some liquid white. So let's, let's touch a little bit. There we go. It's a little liquid white there just to, just to thin it out, make it softer, make it softer, make it stick. Feel the burp coming on. Ooh, excuse me. Goodness, goodness, goodness. Okay, that's good. That's a good color. A hint of that blue in there. <laughs> Liquid white. It's on Apple TV now. And then they, they like revamped it recently too. I had new kids on the block cassette tape. Listen to my way. I was I was obsessed. Uh, I was obsessed with the new kids. I was. I was. <laughs> Claim it. <laughs> Pants Pants is using all the all the not the hashtags. What are they? Commands. It's yours. It's yours. <laughs> it's so lush. There's like so much, so many layers, so many layers. this off <laughs> we might we might we might put some stones in there we might oh man 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 it wants rocks so we'll, we'll throw some rocks in there <laughs> we're not putting that giant boulder that bob did but we'll, we'll put little rocks in the water we'll do that we'll do that Oh no, yeah, yeah. What that's 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 one of the great things about about oil painting. It's like, yeah, it takes a while to dry, so you can you can adjust you can adjust and change things. A family of four all together are kind of spaced out. <laughs> a daddy rock, a mama rock, baby rocks. <laughs> Works. Is there a time frame where it's best to finish the painting? Like one to three days? Yeah, like especially like the thinner you put on the um, the liquid clear, the, the liquid white, the sooner it'll start to um, dry. <laughs> so like <clears throat> sometimes 
uh, let's see. Yeah, sometimes I've done ones on uh, black canvas where like the dark areas were dry the next day. So it's like, ooh. <laughs> Happy little rocks. Mm -mm -mm. All right, I need, I need some more titanium. I'm just gonna put in a little water line for for this area as well. So I'm just gonna take some of this. Oh, actually, do I want? Yeah, no, I do want brown. I'm gonna use brown. I'm just gonna put a little water line. Head his kind of brushing, but I don't know. I'm kind of liking, kind of liking the calm water. Switch it where it's a little little knife for this one. here <laughs> what <laughs> oh my gosh where's the emo elmo oh <laughs> yeah I got, I got an emo elmo in there somewhere a little stronger. use the filbert for this one. I hardly ever use this brush, but it's, uh, it's really good for little rocks. So, let's, 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 let's do, 
Hmm. Let's grab. Oh, Midnight Black. <laughs> That's something I can find you. Who gives an emote? Well, I mean. <laughs> Please whisper. <laughs> okay, that works. <laughs> that that'll do. That'll do. <laughs> All right. Our brush. I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart. <laughs> Thanks for the follow. I'm going to do the little the thing Bob does. Dark on one side and light on the other. Put in some more rocks. We got four rocks here. So before I put those in, I'm just going to... Have another little, little landmass just right here. I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart. Thanks for the follow. Bushes just hanging out. There we go. Let's let's go ahead and highlight them. Then we'll then I'll put a little little rocks in. <laughs> Tribal statues. <laughs> go, kid. Welcome on in. There's only two that that <laughs> pulls away's claim that are are not going anywhere. So, and those weren't weren't painted on stream. So one was painted before I started streaming, and then the other one was painted while I was at certification. So those are the only two that pulls away's. So these are seen here. color. Mm, let's do let's add some more of white and that blue. Yeah, there we go. That should do it. That should do it. There we go. Let's have a little blue bush there. Grass over here as well. <laughs> Twelve point elk sleeping at the river. Yeah. Oh no. <laughs> oh no, we're singing. We're singing. <laughs> so we did a um uh, for for Christmas, we did it. We did a thing with the uh, salsa shack, where we 
<laughs> how do I explain with what we did here? Um, it was kind of like kind of like a secret Santa. So we each are, had our our secret Santa person that we were supposed to give a gift to. So our gift was like everybody's gift was like playing a game for somebody or something like that. So so Pulse Voice and I we got we got noise police. <laughs> And he's, he's a goofball if you don't know noise. And um, so what we did is, what did what did we do? We, we did like, we did Mario 3 co-op, right? Mario 3 co-op run? Yeah. And then um, as an added little little bonus, I, I did a painting. And um, it was, <laughs> if you know the meme of like the three wolves in space howling at the moon. <laughs> so it was that. And, um, and, and he, he loved it. He has, he has, uh, twin daughters and he was like, he was like, it was like, oh, it's me and my twin daughters. <laughs> it was so funny. <laughs> well, what's interesting is like, yeah, like he did the painting in 26 minutes, but what you don't see, um, for the most part, are the paintings that he did practicing to get it down to that time. So some people know, like, yeah, there was like a, a painting before, a painting during the show, a painting after for the books. But it was more like, um, according to his son, Steve, the, like six paintings like he, he would he would just he would just constantly practice 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 until he had it down to those 26 minutes so it was like yeah <laughs> and that's totally like you know very bob ross it's like you know like he's all calm calm and cool and he's like yeah i got this all under control but you know but yeah he practiced he practiced hard he practiced hard for sure <laughs> I think, I know, I, th I think it was this last Christmas. I think it was. That's right, that's right. If you first see Dose Seed, scrape it all off and try, try again. Yep, yep, when I was when I was going through certification, I, I I scraped quite a few mountains off and redid them, redid them, redid them. And I was like, Argh. and I was determined because I'm like, I'm here to learn. Like, I want to get better, blah. And so, <laughs> it's like, now's the time. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, that was cool. And then just like raid to the next person, raid to the next person, and and then noise, noise police. I believe got Vigo right because then noise police did did a drum stream for Vigo, and I was like, oh. it was so cool. That was that was a fun that was a fun time. <laughs> And then I was like going through old pictures, trying to make room on my phone <laughs> earlier. And I saw that three wolves howling at the moon thing, but then like it was still in space, but it was like with the American flag in the background. I'm just like, oh my God. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> ridiculous. Ridiculous. I'm just gonna pew, 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 just tap in some grass over here. A little more paint. A little more paint. Just make that plane stand out. Pew, pew, pew. Okay, that's better. That's better. Okay. All right. Let's. The rocks in. <laughs> Isn't that cute? <laughs> Vigo is, is a jam and a half. I I agree with that. Fully, fully agree. <laughs> I want I want <laughs> I want Paul's voice to make make the one from Mario 3 where you're you're trying to like match up like what is it like a like a star or a mushroom or um well, the third thing was star mushroom. It's probably in there. Was it shy guy? I can't remember. But then, like, you would get the first two perfect, and then like the last one would be like. <laughs> I mean, just was it a flower? Was it a flower? Okay. 
or leave. No, I don't know. I, I, no, I don't remember. <laughs> Seven Northern Lights are there any of Bob's paintings you've done over and over. There is one. There is one called Tranquil Dawn. And I've done it like... This is, this is perfect, actually. This is perfect because <laughs> Tranquil Dawn, I've done like four times and each time is completely different. So the first time was kind of like sepia tone, looks nothing like Bob's. Uh, <laughs> another time I did it in like, like pink tones. And then I know there's a third time. I don't remember what the third time was. And then the fourth time I did it is, is a painting that Amanda Pants Pants owns. <laughs> and it's a negative image because that was a redemption. I think Marlick re redeemed that I do a negative image of a Bob Ross and that that was the one. Cause I, 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 I had like an app where I could see negative images of, of things. So you just put in whatever picture you want and then just, pew. and I put in the one for Tranquil Dawn and it was like, so cool. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and that, that, turned, that turned out so cool. Like it looks like, like a negative photo. <laughs> All right, so I got the dark on the bottom, light on the top here. So we're gonna do one rock there. I wanna thank you from the bottom of my heart. Another rock there. <laughs> Thanks for the follow. <laughs> don't, don't do negative images, only positive images. But it was a positive negative image. <laughs> No, no negative thoughts. <laughs> Only positivity. Put a little more of that black in, a little more of that white in. Not white, but a little brownish color. And then one to two. And maybe a little smaller rocks there. There we go. Another Gengar. <laughs> We've had like three Gengars today. <laughs> yes, don't have negative thoughts. Remember your mantra. <laughs> Just watch the sunrise in your back. Oh my goodness. That's awesome. So now you gotta paint the sunrise. are happening. Jamage! Oh my goodness. Oh, <laughs> it worked. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Jamage, for letting letting Marlick give <laughs> Tra trapping you into that six months of <laughs> subscription. Sounds like sounds like uh what was that subscription to that that music thing? B B and G was that it? B M G. B M G. Yeah, B M G. What was the other one? Columbia House. Columbia House. There you go. <laughs> Welcome to being trapped into Columbia House music. Yeah, there it is. Here's where you're right. It's not equal or positive. Well, yeah, you never know. You never know. So I'm just gonna go back in a little bit of. I'm just gonna let's put a little a little water around these guys here. Just a little water around the rocks here. How am I hungry again? I swear. 
I think I, well, I think about it. Okay, so I ate at like seven, so eight, nine, 10, 11. Yeah, that is like four hours. Yeah, okay. <laughs> All right. All right, body, you got me. You got me. Ugh. Ah. Yeah, BMG, you're going call me guys. You got it. Yeah, I've noticed like when I'm, when I'm painting, yeah, I, I, I do. I, I hold it like I hold a pencil, like. And a lot of times I, like when I'm painting, I kind of like hold it on the ferrule like that, like, yeah. Okay, hush stomach, I hear you, I hear you. To be fair, all I had for dinner was pierogi and hummus. <laughs> so. <laughs> oh, oh. oh. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. All right, one, one little pebble. One little pebble. And thanks for the follow. There we go. All right. All right. <laughs> Oh, I'm going to pronounce your name wrong. <laughs> Welcome in. Is it Silek uh, Sia Tear? <laughs> Welcome on in. Brogies are good stuff. They are good stuff. Close my sister's little dream. The sun is coming up. My shift is ending soon. Thank you. Hey! <laughs> well, thanks for hanging out. I, I, I think it was Luminate. Luminate. <laughs> Makes a bomb no Rockwell. Nice. It was a calm shift. Good, good. I'm glad I could provide the calm, the calm atmosphere. That's what, 
It's what I aim to do. <laughs> nice. All right. Well, 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 well. You know, I'm just going to put a little highlight back here on this little bush here and then we'll and then we'll be going to be good. I'm just going to let's get a little of that blue on here. Flip that around there. Mm -hmm. No, okay, good. <laughs> oh, thank you so much. Yeah, I, I try to also um, upload the streams to YouTube too, because I know a lot of people watch from all over the world. So it's it's yeah, <laughs> it's it's tough to sometimes to watch when it's actually on. So so some people throw on one of the YouTubes and just like <sighs> doze doze off. <laughs> of course, you can if you're working, but. <laughs> It's a stream on the stream, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> and then the other room, is there a Lady G gallery? If not, when is it opening? Good deal. <laughs> yes, yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's, it's funny you mentioned that ruler because um, there's a local library and they they approached me. Um, they're, they're doing a like a comic book convention at the library at, um, or, oh, that's in September. And, um, and they wanted, you know, wanted me to be there because they know I do like geek stuff. And, and they contacted me um, asking if I could also like put my paintings on display in the library. And I was like, yeah, heck yeah. <laughs> and, and like, well, I, I didn't know if they had like display easels big enough. So I, I took a picture of the Majora's Mask one on a display easel to kind of like say like, oh, I have display easels too if you want to borrow them. And, and I'm like, yeah, yeah, absolutely. And and then they were like, oh, yes, yes. Like with the new Zelda game coming out. Yeah, I'd love to have the Zelda stuff. And I was like, well, good, because I have lots of Zelda paintings. <laughs> Ruler, you are in for a treat. This is a repeat. No. <laughs> All righty. Well, I think, I think, I think we've got a completed painting. <laughs> and as always, I don't, I don't sign the front. I, I just sign the back because... That is good. TR, welcome in. <laughs> All right. So with that, let me grab my phone. Let me find someone to read. That'd be funny if I just left and never came back and we'd be like, where'd she go? <laughs> what happened? Oh my god, I decided what I'm gonna eat now. Ooh. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Jamish. Hi, I was wondering if there if there's a cabinet. <laughs> Okay, we're doing that. <laughs> we're, we're going. <laughs> we're gonna. We're gonna go say hi to to Blackwood Recordings and Mrs. Busy. Um, Pulls why said they're doing it. The thirteenth thirteenth anniversary. Yeah. Thirteenth anniversary. So we have a, a a fifty fifty year anniversary celebration in the stream here. So we're gonna. Yep, we're gonna go over to a thirteen year <laughs> anniversary celebration. That's awesome. <laughs> I thought you were asking about the extended warranty on the cabin. Yes. <laughs> so uh raid message can just be con congratulations or congrats or uh gg yeah gg on 13 years or <laughs> sorry i missed all my ggs i'm too busy talking <laughs> here let me scroll up just a little bit just 
<laughs> I know I missed a couple there. Thanks to the Gigi's Mad Dog and Zero. <laughs> Thanks to the Gigi's Professor <clears throat> and Trinket and Ruler. <laughs> and Lauren Saxio. That's almost 15. Yeah, exactly. 13 years. That's almost 15 years. You did the thing? What thing? The thing? The little, little one there? We got the little one there? We did the thing? Up top? What thing up top? Oh, what thing up top? Oh, hold on. <laughs> oh, oh, high five up top. <laughs> I'm such a square. <laughs> Is that what you meant? <laughs> dragon, what? I don't, I don't think he was a dragon. Okay. <laughs> if not, if I miss something, let message me later. <laughs> I think we got everything. Okay. <laughs> if not, yeah, message me later if, if, if I miss something. <laughs> uh.